Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 5, the next mutation where we have just beaten Captain Quirk at Battlecruiser, which was actually a lot of fun. It was a lot more in depth than I thought it was going to be. It's a cool little mini game, that probably my favourite mini game across the Space Quest series so far. But now Cliffy has gone to, I think they call it the detention area for fighting with some of uh, Quirk's crew members, which I don't blame him for at all because they all seem like jerks. Uh, but uh, I think they took him this way, didn't they? So can we go and get him out? Because I'm guessing we can't go anywhere without him. Seeing as he's part of the crew, we probably can't do anything without him, right? So that's the next stop, I guess. Um, <laughs> okay, Acton, Verboten. Why, why is he uh, German now? He's, he's speaking German, isn't he? Having a mind blank today. I don't know what's going on. Uh, right, let's speak to these guys. And just what do you expect it to say to you? Did your mother have any children who lived? Scram Peewee. Uh, can we command them? No. Okay. This one seems to be occupied. So this this cell is empty. This cell is occupied. So is that where they've put him? Maybe. Doesn't seem like we can do anything though here. Variety of controls including those for the force field. Can, can we just like use the console? No. Okay. Uh, and I'm guessing the force field is still there. Yeah, it no. is. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can't go that way. That is for sure. I think this is where they took him, though, right? So maybe let's talk to the crew and see if they've got any ideas. I love the music here. It's really, really good. Uh, right. Crew. C can we... You got any ideas? Did you notice the alien sitting with Quirk in the upper booth when we came in, Captain? I did, actually, yes. What about him? Well, I have an excellent memory for cranial configurations, and I'd swear it was the same creature we saw in that transmission we intercepted. Yeah, I, I said the same as well. <clears throat> what do you suppose it was doing with Quirk? I haven't any idea. What do you think, Drool? Beats me. I didn't even see the guy when we came in. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's not observant at all. Uh, okay. What did you... Uh, why did you say... Uh-oh. Here, here we go again when we came into the bar. <laughs> Cliffy had a slight misunderstanding of a crew member from the Intrepid the last time we came here. So he got arrested last time as well, did he? What do you mean by a slight misunderstanding? Apparently, Cliffy made some colourful speculations about this crew member's parentage. Oh no. <laughs> then he proceeded to make some unflattering anatomical references. I get the idea. So yeah, yeah it sounds like... Males, you can't live with them and sometimes you can't even house train them. <laughs> Why, that reminds me of my 14th husband, Vlad. He was always brawling. The captain doesn't have time to listen to one of your fascinating personal narratives right now, Flo. I don't know, it sounds like it could be pretty funny. He has to figure out how to get Cliffy out of the slammer, right, sir? Yeah, I do. Any ideas? Uh, yeah. Any ideas? See, I told you the captain wasn't a complete closet case, Flo. I'm with you, sir. Let's go blast him out. That's a fine idea, Drool, but it would draw too much attention. There's got to be a better way. I haven't seen any better ways, though. Uh, can we... Okay, no... Okay, any ideas, guys? Any ideas at all? Why don't you get started on your project, sir? Project, inverted commas. I don't feel like talking much right now, sir. This whole incident has thrown my biorhythms out of whack. No one wants to talk. I need to go back to the ship and meditate with my crystals. Can we go to the ship, maybe? I, I, is, can we actually, like, beam off of here? Have we tried that? Because, I mean, there's not really anywhere to go, is there? Can we use, like, the little... It's not necessary now. Okay. Uh, maybe not, then. So, if we if we head up here, does it just take us back to Battle Cruiser? Yeah, there's nothing we can do here. Hmm, okay. Can we do anything over here? We can't talk to the droid thing. Can we go off in any of these directions to the side? I 
Doesn't look like it. I didn't actually want to come back here. So, uh, let's head off. Can we go that way? I mean, I guess we could maybe use the thing here to beam off, right? Oh, yeah, we can. Nice, we can go back to the ship then. I wonder if, if Spike can help us out here. Because this, this thing's still not really operational, is it? Can we get Spike and beam down? Do we want to try that? I mean, it could be a good way of getting him out, right? Oh, what are these things? When did we get these? A package of dehydrated... Oh, yeah, the space monkeys. Uh, a small label at the bottom reads, Warning, do not allow contents of package to mix with alcohol. Uh, the Merchant of Venus is... So maybe we've got to mix that with some alcohol. I mean, there is a guy drinking. Uh, all right, let's... Uh, no, let's let's save here. Um, back aboard the ship. And then... I don't know. Let's call it uh, getting Spike, question mark. Although, Spike now doesn't have the... The acid thing, does he? So I'm not sure if this is actually going to work. Because we use the anti-acid tablets on him. Can we can we get him out of here? Uh, yeah, we can, it turns out. <laughs> I love the way he does that to get in our inventory. It's great. Okay. So can we just beam down with Spike? You have to be on the pad to do it. Yeah, I know. Right, let's get on the pad. Is Spike... Okay, so it does look like we can potentially take Spike with us. Energize! Yep, we can take Spike with us. Okay, so... Interesting. So this guy's got a drink, right? Can we... Yeah, we've got Spike. Okay, nice. Can we do this? It's not necessary. Alright, so... I don't know. Let, let's go this way. Let's see if we can unleash Spike on these guys or anything. That's the only thing I can think of right now. Maybe we can... Stop. Maybe we can even send Spike down there. To like here. It's not necessary. Not necessary. I don't suppose there's like any vents or anything anywhere. Well, the fact that we can bring Spike here would suggest to me that there's a reason for that. No, okay. Hmm. Well, so it says not to mix the space monkeys with alcoholic drinks. Can we order a drink? If we... Can we, like, talk to this little droid thing and, and order a drink? No. No. Hmm. And we tried going down here, didn't we? And there's nothing down here, right? Yeah. Can we talk with any of these people? No, we can't. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe we can do something back on the ship then. Perhaps for now we put Spike, because... Oh, no, I tell you what, we'll try... We'll try leaving here. See if Spike gets out of the inventory. If he does, we can just load. Uh, no, I want, I want to go out. Your crew awaits you on the station. It'd be wise of you to join them. Okay, so we, we can't do that. So, actually, we do need to do something on the station. It's, it's not a case of just like going off we can't do anything by ourselves with the with the um, ship I mean I don't suppose we could can we use like the gun thing I mean could that could that be possible okay can we just, like, pull a gun on them and pretend it's, like, an actual gun rather than a thing? Why don't you try roasting marshmallows with it instead? Sheesh. Okay, fine. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so that... What is it? A welding gun or something, isn't it? We've got this chip. Got, can we, like... Can we, like... 
use that. He's like, no, I wondered if we could call that guy. Hmm. Alright, so it's got to be something to do with the space monkeys and the drink then, right? Can we... Can we actually talk to this guy if we tried that? Oh, God, okay. My, what colourful language. Your attempts to... Okay, so... I mean, he has a drink. Can we order another drink? Is that is that something we can do? I suppose it's worth trying, right? Okay. Can we... I mean, there are drinks here. I suppose. The drink doesn't look very appealing. Maybe you should have opted for a Corona Light instead. Flo is sipping a fuzzy nostril. Drool is it? So, actually, we do have drinks still here. Can we... Don't put your thingies in my drink. Not in my drink. Aha! Aha! The space monkeys! I knew it! Whoa! Oh god, they're getting quite big? Are they? Oh my god, they're getting very big! Jeez! Who's the moron who let all the dang space monkeys loose? Not me. Hey, look at them. They're quite cute, actually. These pseudo... Pseudo... Why can I not speak today? These pseudo primates seem to pos possess a pronounced proclivity for procreation. Oh, God. They're gonna... They're gonna just... Can we get any of them? Stop trying to touch your monkey. <laughs> All right. Is that gonna do anything in the hallway, maybe? Oh, God. It does look like there are more of them. W were we supposed to do this? I mean, we got score for it. There's... So, I'm outside the airlock on an EVA, and I hear the phone ring. I've got to climb in, cycle the airlock, decontaminate, climb out of the pressure suit, and run to the phone. I hate that. Turns out, it's one of those new phone companies wanting me to switch galactic long-distance carriers. He's talking about all these big savings I can get if I just switch from Sprint to TT and A's Friends and Aliens plan. Can you believe it? What'd you tell them? I said, no way, it just isn't worth it. Oh, maybe the space monkeys did do something. Alert, alert, alert. Come on, let's go see what it is. Maybe we'll get to beat somebody up. <laughs> God, <laughs> these guys are easily amused. All right, well, they're gone. Okay, so it turns out we probably didn't need Spike then, after all, but we still we still got him, so that's fine. Um, so let's save again. We'll space monkey chaos. So we've managed to get control of this at least. So do we use the little console thing to turn off the force field? I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. That that seemed to work. Let's head down the corridor. So there's nothing in this one, right? This cell appears to be as empty as the orb atop your shoulders. <laughs> I think they're all empty except for that one, right? That second one. Okay, something's happening. Here he is. Cliffy is locked up tighter than the sphinctoid on a Regellian waterfowl. <laughs> Lovely. Can we let him out? That will have absolutely no beneficial effect on the lock mechanism. Uh, okay. Can we... Boy, am I glad to see you, Captain. You've got yourself in a fine prickit dickament this time, Cliffy. I'm sorry, Captain, but it wasn't my fault. I know, Cliffy, I know. You're not going to just leave me here to write in this tiny self the rest of my life, are you? Of course not, Cliffy. The Eureka isn't going anywhere without her chief engineer. Heck, nobody else can even figure out half the jury rigged contraptions you've installed. It's nice to feel needed, sir. Now, all we have to do is get you out of here. Any ideas? Not one, sir. Maybe you can find something that will get through these bars. But be careful, it's mighty cramped quarters in here and I'd like to make it out in one piece. Alright, so we've got several options here. We've got this thing, I'm guessing. Laser cutting torch. And if not, then we'll try spike. You'll fry your chief engineer. Uh, can we do it up there okay so that's not an option so spike is spike an 
Spike, you legend! Let's see if he still hates Spike now. Turns out Spike is good after all. I guess that little beastie is good for something after all, sir. Does appear that way, doesn't it? So, yeah, I was wrong about Spike. I mean, it, it could still turn out to be bad for us, but... I like how we run off and Cliffy just strolls out. Oh my god! Yeah, that's a lot of space monkeys. Um... <laughs> Jeez! I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying! Yeah, these space monkeys are reproducing quite quickly, aren't they? <laughs> well, looks like we're leaving. Um, looks like everyone's leaving. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, the space bar's no more then. We're never going back there. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! There's more than one. They're all getting squished on the windscreen. <laughs> oh dear! I'm receiving a coded transmission from Starcon, sir. We are ordered to proceed to Clorox Two for an auxiliary garbage retrieval mission, sir. Okay, Clorox 2 then. We'll remember that for next time because we're out of time in this one. I'm not going to forget this time. Clorox 2. I'll write it down. <laughs> oh man, that was quite a cool episode actually. We did some really nice things in this. The space monkeys were great. We managed to get Cliffy out of jail. Uh, we exploded the space bar though, which probably isn't the best course of action, but you know, never mind. And we're back in control of the ship once again. So uh, we'll leave it there. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Fans of Velos, Lyle, and Barry Aldridge for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time.